Top 10 Box Turtle Facts Box turtles belong to the oldest reptile group on the planet. They have inhabited the planet for millions of years and have gone through a number of evolution stages to finally reach where they are today. They are fascinating little creatures and are found in North America and Asia. While there are plenty in the wild, a few also make their way into our homes as people love to keep them as pets and kids can spend hours playing with these lovely little creatures. So before you want to get one for yourself, sit through this video Video and learn a little more about it as I bring you the top 10 box turtle facts. Let's go! Now before we begin, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel, Top Best for Everything, for more content like this. Number 10. Hibernation like other reptiles, box turtles must hibernate during cold winter weather. They burrow deep under the soil and leaves sometime in October and usually emerge in April or early May. Did you know that there are two types of hibernation and the box turtles are capable of doing both? You already know that they hibernate when the weather becomes cold, but these guys can also hibernate when the temperatures get really high and cross 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 9. Master of Hiding When disturbed or frightened, most box turtles will pull in their head and legs and tightly close the shell, remaining hidden until the threat of danger is passed. The shell is extremely tough and almost impossible to pry open when closed. Young box turtles don't develop the hinge for closing their shell until they are about 4 to 5 years old. And this is where they get their names as well, you see, box turtles. Number 8. Population is declining Although they are still common in many areas, box turtles have declined over much of their range, probably due largely to habitat destruction by man. Many box turtles are killed as they cross highways. Dogs sometimes catch box turtles and chew their shells, resulting in injury and eventual death to the turtle. Many are also hit by lawnmowers as the turtles hide in tall grass and weeds. So the next time you see this poor guy, try to be helpful and polite. They already have it pretty rough out in the wild. Number 7. The Habitat Most eastern box turtles have permanent home ranges. Juvenile turtles often have small, temporary home areas that grow larger as they age. If relocated, a box turtle will often attempt to return to its home area. Eastern box turtles are diurnal. During the day, the box turtle will forage for food, search for mates, and explore territory. At night, it rests in shallow forms that are scooped out at dusk. They are unable to tolerate high temperatures, and in the summer are most active in the morning or after periods of rain. During the midday, box turtles become less active and seek shade. Also, they will burrow into rotten logs, leaf piles, or mud to avoid the heat. Eastern box turtles can retain water better than aquatic turtles. This allows them to cope with short dry spells. Number 6. They are great pets. Kids love turtles, and they can be great pets, considering their harmless nature and low maintenance. However, if you live in America, there are about 20 states that do not allow keeping the box turtles as pets. This is to deter people from taking them from the wild, to prevent the spread of diseases carried by turtles, including salmonella, and to avoid unwanted turtles being dumped in new habitats and damaging local wildlife populations. However, if you really want one, you should reach out to local or regional turtle and tortoise rescue groups. These groups can help you locate a pet box turtle who cannot be released back into the wild, needs a new forever home, and is an appropriate species or subspecies to thrive in your climate. Another easy way to acquire one can be through a breeder who has experience in handling the species. Number 5. They love to dig. Box turtles can be kept indoors or outdoors. All they need is a safe place that does not allow predators and unwanted visitors to approach the turtle. Box turtles have a strong natural instinct to dig for protection, temperature regulation, and humidity needs. In captivity, organic potting soil that is free from fertilizer or additives and combined with reptile bark, leaf mulch, and sphagnum moss is a great choice for bedding. Number 4. They love to hide. Turtles love a place to hide. In the wild, this protects them from the elements and predators. So these creatures are known to hide inside logs or even dig deep holes to hide from the outside world and feel cocooned in their already cocooned shell. 
In order to recreate this captivity, you can use a hide box, half a hollow log, or even get creative and let the turtle decide how it wants to hide. However, turtles aren't familiar with windows and have been known to try and frantically escape through transparent enclosures. Therefore, the best enclosures have solid sides that are not see-through. Always keep that in mind. Number three, they love water. Okay, we must put this out there. There is a huge difference between turtles and tortoises. Please, never confuse the two. Tortoises are land-only creatures. They cannot swim, and they cannot even float in water. Turtles, on the other hand, love water, and they've never met a puddle they didn't like to paddle in. They need a ready supply of fresh water for drinking, bathing, and for their bathroom needs as well. Female turtles will even lay more eggs in the summer following a wet spring and may choose not to mate at all after a very dry spring. That alone is evidence enough that they love water. Number two, they love to eat. Box turtles are omnivores. In the wild, they eat fruits, vegetables, grasses, and protein sources such as worms, snails, beetles, and small fish. One study from the Ecological Society of America found that box turtles in the wild eat over 130 different kinds of food. They are also opportunistic feeders, which means they may eat more food when it becomes available to survive lean times later. Number one, they can outlive you. Box turtles, on average, survive for about 25 to 30 years in captivity. But out in the wild, the average age for these guys is more than 50 years, and some have even been found to be as old as 100 years. This means that your turtle will be around when you are a kid, and then the turtle would still be around your kids, and then still be around your grandkids, and even when you are gone, the turtle would still be walking around the dirt and paddling inside puddles. That's all for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment down below your favorite box turtle fact.